Ooh, what's going on YouTube? Barry here. This is Barry Smix. Welcome to my channel. I see it's been about five months since I've been able to update you guys. I've had a lot going on since I relocated up here to Alaska. And things have not been going as planned. Uh, a lot of setbacks. A lot of problems. Uh, but I'm pushing through them. Uh, the former company that I worked for, uh, Western Flyer Express, screwed me out of my last paycheck. So I wasn't able to pay my rent back in December which led to an eviction while I was waiting for my new paycheck. I'm going to get into all that and a little bit more right after this brief introduction. All right, guys, welcome back. I'm so glad to have you here. Um, I know it's been five months since I put anything out, uh, actually six months, uh, New Year's was the last video I put out, and today is June 17th, so yeah, I'm a bit behind, it's been six months since I get a video out to you guys, I do apologize, uh, my work schedule here has been rather hectic, um, but as I was starting to say, I had an issue with my former employer, Western Fire Express, which I've talked about before, they owe me over 20 Five thousand dollars in back pay. Haven't seen a penny of it. Had to put a UCC filing against their company. Had to place a lien on their company for the money they owe me. Uh, so if they sell or try to sell, they won't be able to until they settle that up. I am part of the class action lawsuit against them over their um, lease purchase program. No updates on that. I talked to the attorney uh, not too long ago, maybe 10 days ago, they're still waiting for hearings, uh, still working its way through the court system, but it could be two or three years before anything comes up. Now, with them withholding my final paycheck, I was not able to pay my rent in December. Uh, I got up here December the 2nd, wasn't able to get started working until December the 17th. Um, had to go do the drug tests and all that other crap. Uh, they had to send out, I don't know, it took so long to get the lab results back. But, yeah, it took them two weeks to get me out on the road and on the truck. Uh, but it's a decent job. Uh, I'm driving, calling mail for the U.S. Post Office up here uh, through a contract company. Uh, I average... About 100 hours every two weeks. Uh, we're paid bi-weekly, um, so I get 40 hours straight time plus time and a half for overtime. I get a $5 shift, an additional $5 uh, when you work on the weekends or holidays, plus you get holiday pay. Unfortunately, the upcoming postal holiday, uh, Monday the 19th, June 19th, is um, Juneteenth Day. Um, that celebrates when Abraham Lincoln uh, signed the Emancipation Proclamation back in, I believe it was, 1865 or 1864, right around there back when he freed the slaves. Um, so they turned it into a federal holiday. Unfortunately, it's not a paid federal holiday, so I don't get paid any extra for it. But if it was a paid holiday, I'd get the $5 differential. If I worked, I get holiday pay, eight hours, plus I get the five hour uh, differential. But I won't get the differential. It sucks, but hey, it is what it is. Anyways, uh, going back to uh, WFX, I was written through a company up here called uh, Widener Properties, and they're a very large property uh, management company. They own, I don't know how many apartment complexes, houses, and everything throughout the Anchorage area. If you're going to come up here and move up here, I would not recommending, or, excuse me, rented, I would not recommend renting from Widener Properties because uh, they're going to screw you in the end. I'm finding out now uh, that they have a lot of issues. They've been sued time and time again and lost in courts time and time again over improper things they were doing. Now, uh, I explained to them, hey, look, I'm waiting for my paycheck here. Uh, I was expecting to hit my account, my final paycheck to hit my account. I believe it was December 5th. It never showed. Got a hold of the company. They're saying, well, we're not paying you. We're keeping that money to recover the truck. What do you mean you keep the money to recover the truck? I told you guys I'm giving you a two-week notice. You pretty much said just park it, leave it. We don't need you anymore. F off, pound sand, however you want to put it. I left the truck at 
their yard, at their main facility. They didn't have to do anything but walk across the parking lot, pick it up, and drive it into the bay, maybe 100 feet. They charged me $2,200 to do that. And they're saying, I owe them money now for work that had to be done to the truck. There was nothing wrong with that truck. That truck was cleaned out, detailed, ready to put a new sucker into. Uh, but no, they wanted to do it all themselves. They're telling me there's some repairs needed to it. Well, these are repairs that I've been doing over and over and over again with them. I mean, I had 21 consecutive days that I was broke down, stuck in a hotel because of them. Uh, that's one of the reasons they owe me so much money. They never paid me any of my detention pay for last year. They owe me 170 some hours of detention pay. I, I, I've gone over this before in another video. I'm not going through it again. Um, so when they refused to pay me, I went over, I talked to the management at, uh, the property, uh, that I was renting uh, the house I was running, showed them the messages saying, Hey, look, they're withholding my pay. Here's proof of it. And. My new company, I start December 17th, and they hold back. Well, it's they pay every two weeks, so it'll be three weeks before I see a paycheck because I'm coming in in the middle of the pay period. No problem. Just get it caught up as quick as you can. Cool. Sweet. Get my first paycheck beginning of January. I try and pay December's rent as agreed and ask them for two weeks to get caught up on January's rent. They refused to take December's rent. Then they refused to take January's rent when I had all of the pay both months together. And they evicted me. At the court, they out, the manager outright told the judge, I don't want the money. I don't care about the money. I just want the house. I don't like this strong support. So that's all in court records. So the judge, instead of giving me the traditional two days to move out, he gave me 10 days. Uh, which, thank you for that, Your Honor. Um, so I moved out, went to another place, uh, tried to pay her the money that I ordered. She still refused. And what have they done since then? They have referred it to collections. That's right. It's on my credit report right now that I owe them over $4,000 when I only owe them $3,007 for two months rent. Um, so I'm fighting that right now. I'm going to take this back to court. I'm going to sue them for putting false information on my uh credit report. I'm going to sue them for putting me in collections and screwing my credit up even more than it already is being a victim of my defects. I'll be right back, guys. Uh, I got to go take care of my chicken. I'm barbecuing some chicken right now. Uh, didn't realize it's already been 30 minutes on smoke, so I got to go turn the temperature up and get it ready to uh, sauce. All right, guys, really sorry about that. I just wasn't paying attention at the time. I thought I had more time to uh, do the video. Um, it was chicken sauce flipped over. Heat's turned up a little bit. I put it in first about 20 minutes just on smoke to let it absorb some of those flavors with the dry rub on it. Now I've sauced it, run it up to 275, and we're going to let it cook for another 35, 40 minutes. Flip it over, sauce it, flip it over for about 15, and give it... Now, just let it caramelize that first sauce, and we should be good to go. Anyways, uh, so um, with Widener, I find out this is something they do quite often. They enter into uh, agreements and then refuse to honor them, which is something that happened to me, and I'm really pissed off considering this was part uh, this area of the plant. Uh, Cities where a lot of military families live. Anyways, so I ended up leaving there. I had to go to a um, extended stay um, motel for a little while. That was costing me eleven hundred dollars a month, but it was a two-bedroom apartment, fully furnished, all utilities, everything. I'm like, great. I mean, I'm cool here. This will work for now until I get some money set aside and on the house again once I get this stuff cleared up with um, Widener. Now, um, they turn around and I ended up with an issue there. Had a lot of electrical problems in the unit after being there almost three months. And next thing I know, I'm being told, well, uh, we're not renewing, we're not extending you another month at the end of the month because we need to get all the units ready for the summer. Travelers, 
and this room's going to go up to four thousand dollars a month what no way in hell this little apartment's worth four thousand dollars a month but corporate companies pay those rates to bring uh employee seasonal workers up here for the uh holiday seasons and that's what they're getting right now they're getting thirty seven hundred and fifty dollars a month for that same room i was paying eleven fifty a month so right now i'm at a different um extended stay type place uh it's costing me fourteen hundred dollars a month for a room that's probably 15 by 20. Got a queen size bed in it, refrigerate, a small little mini refrigerator, microwave, TV. I mean, the necessities, the essentials. That's all I need. And it's a two, or a two block walk to work every day. So it's not that bad. I mean, I don't like that I'm paying this much. Uh, I was on the list with a couple different um, rental companies. And now the house that they I went on the list for, or the apartment complex I went on the list for, rather, which is about four miles from here. When I went in the list, the rent there was twelve fifty a month. The rent in that same apartment is now thirty six hundred dollars a month for the summer. They called me up at the end of last month to see if I was ready, and I'm like, yeah, "What's the uh, moving going to cost?" Oh, a little over seventy, uh, a little over seven thousand dollars. I'm like, "What? What? What's thirty six hundred dollars a month? It's the uh, market rent." I'm like, wow. Well, move me back down the list, and when the rates come back down to something reasonable, like in the fall. I'll be ready to move in then. Uh, a couple other places I was ready to move in, had the money, was good to go. And then they seen that BS collections from Widener on my damn credit report and they denied my applications. Oh, eviction's gonna be five years old. It's not even a legitimate eviction, but it is what it is. So yeah, this is where I'm at right now. Um, nice little bar, literally in the same parking lot that the place I'm staying in. Uh, Hell's Angels bar, but that's all right. As far as work goes, um, one of the drivers is leaving. Today's his last day, so I'm going to be picking up extra hours. So I'm going to be looking at probably 160 hours a day every two weeks, which after taxes, I might take home. Twenty eight hundred, maybe three thousand dollars, if I'm lucky. Uh, that much pay puts you in a higher tax bracket. Oh, I hate this freaking government. We're not talking about the government. Yeah, I just wanted to get in here, update you guys, let you guys know a few things. Uh, cool note. Uh, even though it's been six months since I put a video out, uh, I just went and looked at my analytics, and wow, was I surprised. Um, I've got over 5,000 watch hours now, which means I just went and put in for um, uh, monetization on this channel. This channel is now eligible for monetization. It's about time. It's only taken a few years to do it. But let's see. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Focus. Uh, Autofocus must be off on that camera. Um, but I see that... Seventy nine point five percent of you are not subscribers. Only twenty point five percent of the people that watch this channel are subscribed. So come on guys, help the channel out, help me out. Um and by helping the channel, helping me out, it allows me to spend more a little more time getting more videos out here to you guys on a more regular basis. I know I've been promising that for a while, things just haven't been working out as planned, and for that I do apologize. But yeah, just reach down. Click that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you know when I upload new videos. And don't forget to share the channel. Or like, I'm sorry, like, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. I do reply to all my comments. Uh, it might take a day or two sometimes. Uh, my hours at work are kind of hinky. Uh, I go into work sometimes. At, I leave for work at 3 o'clock in the morning. I work until a little after 5, go home to 9.30, and then go back to work and work all the way through from like 10 a.m. all the way to almost 8 p.m. at night most days. Uh, 
always has little tiny coming up. Alright guys, I think I'm going to clip it here. Like I said, I just wanted to jump in here and say hello. Thank everybody that subscribed. Everybody that spent the time watching my channels and listening to my uh, talking head here. And uh, let you guys know where we stand. I am planning a trout fishing trip here uh, in the next couple of weeks. Not trout, I'm sorry, salmon fishing trip here in the next couple of weeks. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to bring you guys some video of that. Alright, that's it for now. I'm going to jump out of here. I don't want to take up too much more of your time. Again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for taking the time to check my channel out and watch and see what's going on. And um, I'm going to start bringing you more content, uh, especially with the food prices we're getting right ahead into. I want to get into uh, doing things like a food preservation, a long-time food storage, self-sustainable food sources, uh, things like that to help you guys out. Uh, and what's found to be a disaster over the next few years. All right, guys, that's it for now. Uh, love you all very much. Thank you for checking the channel out. As always, keep it between the ditches. Keep the shiny side up, the rubber side down. I'll see you out there on the highway and go on and keep eating. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem.